So we are here today as Rachel's brothers giving a toast to Brian. You know, instead of finding his own close friend, Adis, for so many years, he gave us the opportunity to talk about him and his life. And he says a lot about Brian as a person. Because as Rachel's brother, instead of talking about Rachel, today we are here to tell you how good Brian is. Yes, and before we proceed, we would like to establish uh, why you might have heard so many of us calling Brian Abi or even BB. Yeah. Firstly, BB or Abi did not originate, originate from Rachel. That was a myth. BB was an acronym that my brother and I came up with. It was called BB because it means Brian the Brave. Yeah, because it takes a man a lot of courage to woo a, someone like my sister. It takes a man a lot of courage to dare to woo a girl from the Lin family. Amen. <laughs> so he is Brian the Brave, BB. For that, I salute you. And we cannot tell you how difficult it is, it is for us to call him BB. I know, call in, uh, call in. Uh, there, are times, there are times when we go out to the shopping centre and he's walking ahead of, uh, of us and we'll just say, BB, BB, everybody will give us the stare and look at us. Hey, these two guys, how come they call each other BB? Sometimes uh? even these three guys, how come two of them call one person BB? Uh? And then they say, oh, now the young generation, are they going to die? So you see, my first impression of Brian came when uh, I was still overseas and my sister sent me a picture they took in Chinese New Year. So I see this guy wearing a full Chinese suit with a uh, cheap power and everything. I say, well, this guy is a Chinese of the Chinese. I say, how will he suit us? He's so decent, he's so alert, he's so good looking. And then we as the brothers, we feel inferior, you know. Oh, insecure, insecure, insecure. But he made such a big impression that I cannot forget was when me and my wife, we were expecting our very first ba baby and he was involved in the whole process telling us that he's going to pick us, anything just call him, he'll come, drive us and he'll settle everything. All the day until the day of delivery, we were going while he was so country, he was more excited than me. We were going all the way to the hospital, he followed, really carried the bag, followed all the way to the surgery theater. Until the nurse have to come and ask, uh, so who is the husband? <laughs> and I'm salute this. So this is the passion that he has that he puts in serving people. He is such a great man. And for my turn, hold on now, because I have my screen in my iPhone. It may look, firstly, I would like to establish this, that it may look unprofessional that I have my screen on my iPhone. It looks like I have, had done this last minute, but it is not, okay? Because in the, such an internet age, uh, I need to be like uh, technology savvy. You know? I've known Abi for a few years now and we've been best friends since. You know the age difference between him and I are a staggering 11 years. How many best friends have such a huge age gap? But more than just being a best friend. BB is a brother to me. The first time I met BB was when he was trying to court my sister. And it was at night when he was uh, at the door knocking. And my, when I saw him, I was so defensive on my sister, I chased him out because it was so late. But the next day, he bought me goreng pisang. And if anyone were to know me well, you know that to win my heart, you got to win my stomach first. Yes, sir! <laughs> And Abi, Sam and I have so many experiences to share but I feel it is most apt for me to share about the groom himself about his essential qualities qualities and attributes that I myself admire and maybe even envy If anyone were to ask me to name three things that stand out most from him it would be firstly in no order of merit be that he is he is so sincere. You can see that when he does something, he engages it with all his heart. He is genuine and you know it. And it is evident even in the smallest of things by having a chat. Now the second thing is that BB is very dependable. He is like a rock 
a big rock. Not the kind of rock that will weigh you down for the rest of your life. But the rock, the kind that you can trust, that you can rely on, that you can lean on. And lastly, the attribute that stands out most in BB is that he loves my dear sister. I am so happy for my sister because she has had the blessing with so many women covered. The blessing of having a man who loves her so much. And therefore, I would like to thank Bibi for this wonderful relationship. It is more than best friends that the three of us share. And it's more is our relationship is transcendent over the misunderstandings and the quarrels and the fights that we had over the many, many outings that we gone on, many, uh, the many times we traveled together. And truly, Bibi is my brother from another mother. <laughs> We just want to affirm again how good it is, you know, he is loyal, he is kind-hearted, he is... Yeah, we this one is what, right? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he is also a joker, you know, he always come to us and he always try and crack his joke. And after cracking one joke, he'll take out his iPhone and then he'll go and search for another joke, then he'll pretend to come to us again and check for another joke. <laughs> so, we just want to tell you, Abi, you know, there's no man that we we will trust our sister's life into. Yeah, seriously. You know, you, you are the man that rock that, you know. Can you stand up, please? We will trust our sister's life to you. Yeah. But here we also want to make an affirmation that if one day... In front of everybody, please, as weaknesses. That if one day, one day you ever make our dear sister cry, if one day you dare to even... Oh. Hurt her, cry. Or oh, even one day her. you make her very, very angry. Or one day you even make her so sad, huh? Okay, get a point of view. <laughs> Just one day, one day you make her so sad. One, one day, day this, such a day comes by. Remember, Remember the past, we go to a movie together. Right? <laughs> okay, you are good friends. So this, you know, we talk about Abi, we just want to share a little about our dear sister. She's very dear to us and we were always talking and how we will never be able to cry when we make a speech here. But yeah. just now I was about to tear when I look at the videos of the times that we had together. And it's so difficult to part with someone like my sister. You see that she's such a small size. But in our family, her presence is the biggest. Yeah. You know, if you have been in parties or, or just company with her, you know that my dear sister, her presence is the biggest and this is something that both of us and even our family we will miss her. We love you, Rachel. And as for myself, I would like to say that um, <laughs> just now when I was watching the video, I was already about to cry because my sister was so close to me. I would think about the times where we used to play games like she would be the DJ and I would be the first to be the caller. <laughs> with my parents and we will act like Filipino as we will wear the wig and we will speak in Tagalog like and we, and we, did, not, we did not know Tagalog, we just will speak utter nonsense and then they will carry with them a dog and pretend to take care of a baby <laughs> you know all these times through the years through when we were when we were small children to when we were teenagers and then when the number of fights we had, the number of quarrels we had and today you are sitting here, so beautiful. There was even one day when Bibi asked me, look at your sister so pretty. I even tell her, are you crazy? I look at this face for 20, 20 years, she's so pretty. But today I got to tell you that she is the most, most beautiful lady. Most it's so stunning. Let us give them an applause for one thing.